Pixel Experience Room on Xiaomi Redmi Note 8. So, hello and welcome, guys. Welcome to Crack Suede YouTube channel. And today, in this video, I'm going to do the review of Pixel Experience Room on Xiaomi Redmi Note 8. I will show you the specifications, features, and other things of this Pixel Experience Room. So, without wasting time, let's get started. This is Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 and we have installed Pixel Experience ROM in it which is based on Android 10 and if you have missed the installation video then the video will be in the description below. Watch that video and easily install Pixel Experience ROM on your Xiaomi Redmi Note 8. So now let's talk about the Pixel Experience Room. So this is the basic interface of Pixel Experience ROM and when you swipe off you will see the list of all the applications installed on your device. And when you swipe down from the top, you will see the notification panel and you can do a little bit of modification in it. And if you want to add more icons in it, then just click on that edit icon and just hold and drag the icons. So in this way, you can do a little bit of modification in the notification panel. And now I will show you its about phone section. So you can see here the Android version Android 10 written there. And you can see the Android security pass level of 2020 February 5, which is the latest security pass level available for right now. And you can enable dark mode directly from the notification panel and dark mode works perfectly fine but for now I'm going to disable it and now let's see its Antutu benchmark score and you can see here the Antutu benchmark score is 171550 and which is somehow less than the official MIUI ROM. And I have rooted this Pixel Experience ROM. The ROM is not actually pre-rooted, so I have to root it. So if you want to know how to root this Redmi Note 8, then I have made a separate video about it. You can check the video will be in the description below and can easily root your Xiaomi Redmi Note 8. And that method works on this Pixel Experience ROM as well. And now let's see on which graphic and on which frame rate you can play the game PUBG. So you can see here we can play the game PUBG on balanced graphic as the mode is not available right now. When you swipe from the left you will see google apps and see some news and if you want to disable this feature you have to just long press on your home screen and go to home screen setting and just disable this display google app then it will show nothing when you swipe from the left if you want to add any widgets on your home screen then just long press on your home screen and go to the widget section and drag any widgets that you want to add on your home screen and if you want to add cool wallpapers like this on your home screen then just long press on your home screen and go to the style and wallpaper section and choose any wallpaper that you want to there are live wallpapers as well another feature is that you can now customize your notification panels icons colors as well as its fonts if you want to customize it then you have to just long press on your home screen and go to the styles and wallpaper section and from there you have to click on styles and from here you can customize it you can customize it in your own way so now let's check what features are available in this settings section so first of all we'll go to the networks and internet and in the advanced section and at last you will see private dns feature so this feature is not available in the miui room so you can have this feature in this pixel experience room and there is little drop down arrow at the top and from here you can directly turn on your mobile data and you can directly keep your phone to the sound mode so this is the new feature here and now let's go to the another setting and that is apps and notification and here at top you will see the list of recently opened apps so now i will click on the notification settings so here you will see the lots of options and now i will click on this notification on lock screen and from here you can choose what kind of notification you want to show on your lock screen and below there you will see default notification sound and from here you can choose your notification sound now i will go back and enter into the screen time settings and from here you can check how long you've been using the application on your device now i'll go back and go to the default apps and from here you can choose the default applications so for now i'm going to select the default app browser as chrome so in this way you can select the default application and now i'll go back and in the advanced section there is nothing much more to explain so i will go back again now i will go to the battery settings and there is battery saver option available and when you turn it on to reduce the battery dark mode option will be automatically enabled and there is battery percentage option available if you disable it then the battery percentage will not show on the status bar and to go to the battery uses you have to click on that three dots and click on the battery uses and from here you can analyze the battery uses of your device and the battery backup of this phone is not bad 
Okay, now I will go back and I will go to the display settings and inside the display setting you can see there is nightlight option available and if you enable it then the color of your screen changes and this helps to reduce the strain on your eyes. And there is adaptive brightness option available and it is similar to the auto brightness feature. And there is dark theme option also available there in the display setting. You can also enable it from the notification panel as I have already told you. And there is styles and wallpaper settings and you can directly go to these settings from the home screen. You have to just long press on your home screen and go to the styles and wallpaper settings. And I have already told you about this feature as well. And inside the advanced section there are some features and from here you can change the display size, you can change the font size, you can set the screen timeout, you can change the screen saver. You can do this kind of things from this advanced setting. And now I just increase the font size and now I will go to the sound setting. And here you can see there are some features and the interesting feature is the live caption. And what it used to do is it will detect the speech in the media and generates live caption. Ok now I will play one song from the MX player and enable the live caption feature and let's see what happens. So you can see it's detecting the speech in the media and generating the live caption. You can drag it anywhere and when you double click on it, it will open up. So this is the live caption feature available in this pixel experience room. And you can also enable this live caption feature from the notification panel. There is shortcut to prevent ringing feature in the sound setting. And if you enable this feature then you have to press the power button and volume up button together to put your phone in the vibrate mode or to put your phone in the mute mode. And there are some minor features like dial pad tones, screen locking sounds, charging sounds and vibration, touch sounds, touch vibration in this sound settings. And now I will go to the security settings and inside the security settings you can see find my device option is available and you can see the security update of 5th of February 2020. And for the screen lock there is pattern option available, there is fingerprint option available but sadly there is no any face unlock option available. It used to available in the previous version of this pixel experience room but in this version it's not available. And now I will test the fingerprint sensor and you can see here the fingerprint sensor is working perfectly fine and is pretty fast but sometimes we have to tap on fingerprint two times to enable the fingerprint. At last inside the security setting there is a screen pinning feature also available. And now I will go to the digital well-being setting and from here you can analyze the uses of your phone and also there is focus mode option available in this digital well-being setting. And inside it if you select any application and enable the focus mode then that application will not work and that application will not work. And now I'm going to test this focus mode on this Facebook application. And you can see the Facebook application is now in grey in color and it won't open when you try to open it. And if you want to open the Facebook application now you have to deselect the Facebook application from the focus mode or disable the focus mode. And now I'll go back and go to the system settings and there is gesture settings and first one is jump to camera. You can double tap your power button to directly jump to the camera. And frankly I don't like this camera that much but you can install Google camera if you want to but the latest version of Google camera will not work. So for this you have to install Google camera of 5.1 version so that it will work perfectly for you. And there is another gesture settings and that is system navigation. And from here you can hide the system navigation buttons or you can disable the system navigation buttons and use the gesture settings. And at last there is prevent ringing gestures option available and I have already told you about this feature. And this is all about the Pixel Experience ROM for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 and I hope I show you all the necessary features of the Pixel Experience ROM and if I missed any important feature then just comment down the missing feature of this Pixel Experience ROM and I hope you like this video as well and if you like this video just let me know hit that like button comment below if you have any kinds of queries suggestions or any kinds of problem share this video as much as you can and don't forget to subscribe to our Cracks Show YouTube channel and hit that notification bell as well so thank you for watching this video and see you in my next video until then Goodbye.